Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So a factory makes 400 refrigerators every day. The factory makes 125 more stoves per day than refrigerators. So which equation can be used to find X, the total number of refrigerators and stoves? Okay, that's going to be important. We need both refrigerators and stoves in one day. So it looks like we've got a few different quantities here. So we've got a factory and we start with 400 refrigerators every single day so let's let's start with our part part hole here and we're looking for the total and this is going to be refrigerators and stoves so what they what they're going to give us is going to be our 400 refrigerators I'm just going to put 400R. And then the factory makes not, not 125, but 125 more stoves per day than refrigerators. So if my refrigerators per day is going to be 400, and I need 125 more stoves, then I'm just going to take my 125. I'm just going to add that and it looks like I'm getting it 525 stoves. So let's put that right here, 525 stoves. And let's just make sure if I take my 525 stoves, is that, if I take away my refrigerators, is that that 125 more? And yes, that's 125. So it looks like I just add these two up and I've got my 400 and I've got my 525 and I'm going to get my, there we go, no regrouping needed. I've got 925 refrigerators and stoves a day. But here's the interesting thing about this question. We're not looking for 925. That helps us, but we're looking for X. So X is our unknown. And in this case, X is going to equal this 925 that we are looking for. So starting in fourth grade and above, we really start using a lot of letters. Sometimes X, sometimes Y, sometimes J or T, it doesn't really matter. They're going to most likely be italicized, but they're going to stand for an unknown. And they're called either a variable or sometimes they're simply called an unknown. And that's just going to be very common because sometimes we're not going to know all of the numbers in a problem, and that's fine. So I added 400 and 525. I don't really see any of those options here. So let's see what we've got here. Let's start with F. I'm just going to add. I know my 925. That's what is helpful. So let me just add my 400 and my 400 and my 125. And I'm going to get, well, there we go. I got my 925. And I see what they did here. See, look, at I, they put their 400 just like this. We went ahead and added our 400 and 125 to make our 525 right there. They kept those two separate. So instead of this, what they did is they just kind of split this and they put the 400 here and the 125 here. So that works. You notice this G, 400 and 125, that only gets you the stoves. doesn't get you the refrigerators. Definitely not going to subtract the two because more means we need plus. And then J doesn't even work because it only, it subtracts. That's wrong. It should be adding. And then it doesn't even bring in this 400 every day. It only starts with the stove. So really, finding this 925 makes it easy for us to know that our answer here is F.